Okay, me and Melissa, we are back for another uh, review tonight, and yep. we're going to look into the movie Escape Room. Yes. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to just play the trailer, then we're going to come back and we're going to give our opinion on this particular movie. Um, we had a chance to go check it out last night, so mm -hmm. let's roll the tape, and we'll be right back in about two minutes and 46 seconds. Little boxes on the hillside, little boxes made of ticky tacky little boxes on the hillside, and they all look just the same. You want to control your life, but life isn't a science experiment. You can't contain your world forever. Try doing one thing that scares you over break, okay? Yeah. This serves as an entry voucher. For Minos, Minos escape, escape rooms. rooms. Be the, the first, first to escape, escape our, our most immersive, immersive room, room yet. yet. And win a million dollars. So, uh, when does the game start? I think this is the escape room. We should look for clues. What are we looking for here? Anything that looks like a puzzle or a code. It looks like an oven dial. That looks real. It's kind of warming up in here. Uh, excuse me, we'd like our hit now, please. Well, that's creepy as hell. Is it getting hotter? How do we get out of here? It's Fahrenheit 451. Got it. about immersive. What's wrong with you? That was real. Whoa. Dumb question. Are we outside? As soon as we get this figured out, as soon as we get the hell out of here. Who would do this? They know every move that we're making. They knew everything about us. This is my hospital bed. Me too. They made these rooms for us. Have you ever seen things that weren't there before? I am not imagining this. Yep. Survive me yep. is a choice. Yep. Come on out, yep. you let me out of here. Yep. 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 That's why they chose us. And they all look just the same. All right, so we're back. So tell me, Andre, and we do hope you enjoyed the closed caption. But tell me, Andre, <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the escape? Now, wait a minute. Let me. We may give what you might consider a spoiler. So let me just say from here on out, we're just going to speak our mind. So spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Tell me what you thought. Watch it or wave it. Um, me personally, I thought the movie was, I thought it was okay. It kind of reminded me of the movie Saw, but uh, with a kind of different twist and different flavor. You know, Saw was about um, individuals that kind of didn't appreciate life. Um, this movie kind of was the opposite. It kind of dealt with survivors. And, you know, escape rooms are pretty popular across the country today. So it's based off, you know, these individuals that actually got to escape out the, out the rooms by finding clues. But they can come to realize that, look. We in uh, some real life situations right here, and we actually it's the survival, uh, you know, survival of the fittest. Um, me personally, I thought it was okay. Typical movie. Um, I probably would definitely want to be going to rent this here. I'll probably catch it on television when it come out two years from now, <laughs> or oh, on oh, Netflix or something like that. So this is a movie that I'm definitely gonna wave. Okay, so I think the movie is good, depending on what age category you're in if you're just now getting into your horror films you're 12 13 14 and you don't really have anything to draw back from like you have maybe have you haven't seen the halloweens and the saws and things like that i think this is an excellent film so i think for those teens this is good but me i'm gonna wave it and the reason i'm gonna wave it is because i don't really like what happened at the end first off it's, it's real torture it's real. Yeah. And you, got, you got some sick people in the world. Just right. Like and that. so, you know, I think sometimes I think, you know, if you could think this in your mind, somebody definitely has tried something like this. And knowing the history of America, you know, that should not be shocking. So you're going to wave this? 
I already said I was going to wave it. It sounded like I, he was going to watch it. No. I, I told you the teenagers, teenagers. Yeah, the millennials, they don't like this let yet. Me, let me state my case again. The millennials should watch it. Yeah. But if you're if you're anything other than a millennial, you should just wave it. You, yeah. Because you've seen movies. If you've seen Saw and all those other movies, you've seen this before, too. Yeah, so I'm going to give it a C-. minus. Um, and the way it ended, I'm sure it's going to be a part two. Um, so when part two come out, I'll wait for it to come out on DVD. So you got a wave and a C minus. Wave and C minus. All right. Absolutely. Well, there we go. Millennials, like you said, I think they'll like it. They enjoy it. If they're the just, you know, just not getting into the horror films. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. But other than that, we're waving it tonight. Let us know your opinion, especially if you've seen the movie. Uh, we can talk about it, as Machine Gun Kelly would say. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So other than that, um, we appreciate you for tuning in to our movie um, review. Um, next week, we'll be back with something else. Yes. I don't know what it's going to be. But we will be back next week with something. Um, we'll check and see what's going to be out there. And we're going to come back and do our review next Wednesday. Yep. All right. So have a good night and be blessed. Bye-bye.